Today, we'll be looking at how to apply for full scholarships. We'll pour out all the secrets. So let's dive in. First and foremost, once you're on Google, you can research the first website, which is known as Webometrics. So once you type Webometrics, this is a secret, but I'm sharing with you guys today, right? Because I want you guys to know everything and make your lives easier. So once you go to Web Webometrics, it's very efficient and easy to use because it has all the websites, sorry, all the schools that you can imagine in the world. It is broken down into the different um, continents. So if you want to go to Asia and you just need to go to Asia and you go down to the, but if you want to be in China, you go down. But today we'll look at North America as we are, we are focusing on schools in the United States of America. So this is basically what the website looks like. And once you're on this website, you can navigate, you can search for whatever you want to look for, right? So we are looking for North America. We go down to the United States. And once it opens up, um, you go down to the United States of America, you see all the schools and they are being ranked according to different categories yeah so it's been ranked into the university the impact rank the openness rank and the excellence rank so if you want to go to the best school you know you're looking at harvard university we all know harvard is the best and according to this list it's number one when it comes to everything be it impact openness and excellence because note that for example the second school which is stanford it is number three in impact and it is number two in openness and number four in excellence so take note of this other category so it depends on what you're going for if you're going for excellence okay you should be looking for maybe the top 10 and note that it's not according to the way it's ranking you have to go to the excellence role to know exactly um to pick out the top 10 but generally the ranking year is like an average of everything right it's an average of all the three different um categories making it top so if you're going for the top schools generally you should be looking at the ones on the top of the list right so this is so amazing because it gives you this breakdown and then once you click on so randomly randomly we are going for boston right we went for boston university once you click on it it's going to take you to a summary information about everything you know need to know about boston university which kind of organization type other names that you can do so if you're french speaking and you come here you want to search for boston university you have to do the university the boston if you're is it spanish university that the boston you know i'm not spanish so i'm just trying and then the website most most importantly once you click on it the actual school websites are here so you don't need to go search for the websites anywhere they are here the location any other ident identifiers the relationships i mean a great breakdown is right here and then you now click we now click on the actual school website it takes you to the authentic secured page of the school the only legit page of the school so imagine that all the thousands of schools that are there you can actually find their actual links guys this is a secret i could for myself but they say sharing is caring and i'm here for us to grow together so whatever information i find i'm here to share of course we are looking at um full scholarships right but i'm giving you guys a run through of everything because amongst those thousands of schools thousands of them are also offering scholarships and you might go into one of them you're looking to maybe go to the best school you never know this is where you go to best school all scholarships anything you want community scholarship community um colleges but i will go to another very secretive site i'm joking where you can find um more information about specific schools yet so this is what boston website looks like um if you want to know anything about the school you just come here we are using boston today 
as an example, right? We could go, we could go to any of of the other schools there, and we'll still find all the information we are looking for. So you just know that you know, it's not like busing is special. No, we just it's a random pick so that we can just for the sake of this video but once you go in i'm gonna leave the links below as always as usual you know i got you guys <laughs> so i'm gonna leave the links links below uh you can always go through navigate just do your own research enjoy learn about the website play around it and you see it's very very useful if you're planning to study abroad out of your country in africa in the best schools in africa anywhere like it also ranks top best schools in africa every like the information is so amazing once i found this website i was like oh my goodness i've been missing out this is so amazing so i really hope it's useful so on this i i hope by now um after navigating through many schools you guys already know how to go through all the schools but for example we're always looking at international students area and looking at financial aid area so that's this is what they're offering this particular school is giving um merit-based and private scholarships to students to international students this school is not offering um need base so it's giving need base only to u.s citizens so guys it's very important that especially if you are you you're an international like you want to study abroad once you go into this school website right go to the requirements um go to international students and look at what you qualify for so you should before even starting to apply so don't just rush and apply because you heard okay they're giving full scholarship yes they're giving full scholarship are they giving it to international students because most times international students have their special requirements you must meet this you must have this gpa you must have all of the good stuff you might even need to have english proficiency so go deep and do your research before just jumping to apply right so this boston is just an example but good enough most or all of the schools offer financial aid it's just that um the requirements to get it are different um yeah like you might some you need to write essay some is harder some they offer only a particular amount some they offer it in the second year so guys just be watchful and look out when you're applying for these scholarships that's why i go no matter after sharing all this information i still go detaily do research about the best schools that you guys can apply to um the particular schools that offer like free application fee so you can reduce costs i know traveling uh to uh, traveling abroad to study is not a day job it incurs a lot of costs and a lot of expenses and all of that stuff so we are just here trying to minimize costs as much as possible that's why we do all this research for you to ensure that you're able to apply and make your dreams come true so yeah so i'm basically sharing these tips with you guys i'm telling you where you can go and find all the schools but yes we'll still be doing the work of finding those particular schools for you in those different countries so you can also apply on a, a timely manner because that's one thing it's it's about applying on time right so guys let's go to the next one is u.s news who would have thought that u.s news can be offering you all the information you want concerning schools but for u.s news you don't just type u.s news like you'll be telling you about covid so when you type u.s news you can now get particular okay so we are taking graduates we're looking at graduate scholarships graduate programs it could be undergraduate it could be preschool it could be anything but with the u.s news once you, when you're um trying to find for find this information you have to be specific right you can still type u.s news and take it to the home page and then you go to search and search for whatever thing you want and it's so amazing too because it gives you a breakdown of information about the school it will tell you how you have to apply if you need to write an essay if you don't need an essay and if you click on the apply button of course it's showing 2019 but trust me if you click on that button it's going to take you to the 2023 information and at the other side you can see where you have the filters you can go there and filter whatever information if you want something only for females 
is right there if you want with a specific amount is right there like all the filters are there and you can search for what you want it is really amazing this is also a website that is very useful it gives you a breakdown before you even dive into the actual school you already have an idea is this something i really want to go in is this something i really want to try out these are the requirements you have to write an ac are you ready to write that ac um or you can look for the ones that you don't need to write an ac so it's just really up to you guys if you want to target community colleges for example so you go and click and you go to community colleges it's going to show you all the community colleges or oh, before community colleges if you want to go to a business school so one thing that i found very interesting about this um this website is also the fact that it even kind of directs you on how to apply what is needed and gives you like a guide rundown, right? So it gives you full time, part time. Um, this is particular to business schools, but you saw that there are many options there that if you wanted to go for, you just click on it. But when using MBA, I'm just assuming that many people go for MBA. So this information might be helpful to many people, many other people. So you just go there. It's going to give you basically all the information you can be looking at everything you need to know about mba and it has the latest news guys so what they give or what they tell you is actually authentic because they have the latest most recent information so this is something that is very helpful when you're doing your research or when you're trying to choose that school or choose that program choose that specialty and it's even telling you why you should specialize why you should not generalize or it, if you want to have a report of how business schools are performing so if you're going to school you want to know like the data everything you want the background everything deep deep this is where you should come it's going to give you all those reports all those statistics for your own best information so once you're aware of this information you know that okay if i'm going to the school whatever happens i'm aware that this is how he has been performing like there's a trend you can show you a trend over the past years and so you know what to expect because performances of school vary from year to year right but even though harvard has been topping for quite some time but all those other schools it really fluctuates so you guys i hope this is very helpful it will even be telling you how long you have to stay in a business school going down is even going to tell you how much you're expecting to pay the breakdown how it can even help you uh, um cover that cost so you really like okay for example when you want to apply for school right when you're doing your research you're writing or you're taking notes and all these notes can really be helpful on guiding you to choosing a particular school a particular course it's everything in one place is everything in one place right so the schools are here more information about like everything is here i just so 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 love this school now we are going down to community colleges so looking at the next which is community college um so we just i mean you can you see there are so many options so many different categories anything you want is right here yeah but we because also community colleges have like low cost even if you're unable to get scholarships we're able to get like low cost fees so once you enter there we're still this is in the us is us news you'll be able to find um locate the state once you show up the state you go there it's going to give you all this um community colleges in that state it's going to give you a breakdown of how much you expected to pay and it's ranking so it makes it easy for you to easily choose um what you're looking for and once you click on it it takes you to the school and it gives like a summary of the location um the fees and everything so it just gives you that um outer summary in case you want to dive in and understand deeper and, and know more about the school you already have an, a sense of what to expect so from here you can just go into deciding okay i want to apply i want to go for the school so that's actually the use of this um us news it gives you that that it gives you that breakdown that makes your search much easier guys 
And remember, once you're in the website, you can just go to search and you can search for whatever thing you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. I hope it was helpful. So I see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let's keep the family growing. Thank you guys. We reached 4,000 subscribers. We keep going higher. And don't forget to share, 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 and stay blessed till we meet again. Bye-bye. Don't forget to reach out, join, um, um, get a membership so you, we can connect on video call and answer all the questions you have. Goodbye.